Sandhya Songs of Twilight by Dhan Gopal Mukherjee Forward Like Rajini, perhaps more than, Sandhya is a slender rill that has drawn its music from my Bengali, which has told upon its English structure. This and many other faults of these poems are due to their unyielding adherence to spontaneity. Sandhya came then as Rajni in its own way through the bed of my Bengali, reflecting its sound and sense, and trying to echo back its music that descends on all with the fading twilight. Dhan Gopal Mukherjee N.B. Since some of these poems were born without and defy titles, I have refrained from forcing any on them. End of Forward Poems 1 to 7 1. Symbolism Tongueless the bell, lute without a song. It is not night, it is God's dawn. Silence, its unending song. Over heart's valley, in the soul's night, through pain's window, behold his light on life's height. No prayer now, though death waves roll, fate's candle lit, beside it sits the soul, reading eternity's scroll. 2. Source of Singing A bruised heart, a wounded soul, a broken lute, that is all. A sad evening and a lone star. Then song reddens, sets life's forest afire. 3. With purple shadows the mist measures the infinite sea that spreads her wave raiment in lavender, violet, grey and green, while with thin silver rays a lone star seeks to sound the deeps. The breeze wings tire of flight. The mist threads weave a rose-fringed dusky drapery to cover the bare breasts of the dunes from the moon's languor-heavy eyes. The shadows die in purple silence. Fades the one star from the sky as the dark mist puts out the rose-red moon from its deep. Pale gleams the lighthouse light no warring waves break the peace of sleep tonight, nor a hungry wind shrieks in pain from the lee. Under her heavy veil of black, a languid sea sluggishly flows to some far land of forsaken dreams. 4. O old, O new! Footnote O old, O new! is the cry of a puati, for example, a mother's cry to her unborn child. Puati has no precise English synonym. End of footnote. Who are you? Why make me wait from the hour of dew till another sunset? Why do I look for your coming? Listen to the weeping brook that might bring to my lonely shore a word from you. Ah, nothing, not a leaf's tremor. O oh, old, O oh, longed for new, who are you, I ask? Know not why I seek from day to dusk, without waking or sleep. No sleep, no waking. A dreaming, a longing, not knowing, yet seeking. For your coming, waiting. O spring born, O autumn clad, O soul's new morn, O old, O glad, so glad, so young, O unseen, unknown, O fugitive vision, O eternal moan in my heart, O tearful soul of laughter, untouched, unhurt, O sweet, O bitter my born yet unborn shadow not fallen 
O undawning morn, O message unbroken, Why, how, when? I wait, wait for you. O embrace of earth and heaven, O old, O new. Five. The far away called her, a pilgrim on the hope lit bark of youth, a woman, a child, a soul on an argosy for the lands of south. It called her in her dreams. Her waking into a deeper dream grew. The flute of the distant played ceaselessly the music of the new. With words of fire it called her, beyond the bourne of her days, to a silent sea of joy, washed by unending twilight rays. It called her at dawn, when night shed the star jewels from her hair. It called her at sunset, when the moon mutely ascended the heaven's stair. It called her without ceasing, hour after hour but a calling, till, come, 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 at her soul's door kept repeating, come, come, come. In her word, her music, her song, far away, near, far again, heedless of nightfall and dawn. It called, it cried, it prayed, till she, the deity, made answer through youth, through age, through death, to her own far away's receding star. 6. Lassitude Ah, to be able to sing, to sorrow in melody, to string with silver sorrow's dark harp, or mount every thorn crowning life's brow with lustrous stars, those tears of the sky, rolling down its face when night's hand puts darkness's crown on its head as twilight dies. None of these for my soul. Only to weep is given to me, to nourish my heart's crop for the sight of barrenness to reap. 7. Ah, pale cool lips that burn, body that yields, though unyielding. O oh, moon with the heat of the sun, flashing out a million lights to cleave into nothing the endless firmament of my being. Take all, my soul's mistress, heart's queen, the flaming fancies of my dream-tortured night, the intoxicating fruits of my daydream, the fiery lotus of my senses delight that rises from the abyss of my life. The abysmal heaven of love and living, now bruised, burnt, torn and thrown to the winds of thy ravishing rejoicing, whose inarticulate words of delight and moan make the ever-yielding music of my soul. End of section 1 Poems 8 to 15 8. Forlorn in the star-blurred hours of the night, when the cloud dams stay the flow of winds, not even the shadow of a meteor moves, as in the watchtower of love I sit. Through the casement of hope, look for thy coming, along the moss-grown path of stones. Those agonies that time has built on my soul, by the unfathomable lake of my tears, shed, when even prayers had failed to bring thy returning. Come, destroyer of my peace and sleep, plunderer of lights of my days, enigma on the scroll of my fate, before the lightnings fired my tower and thunders crashed in my life's sky. Only send the echo of thy footfalls, the ring of thy song, and a star, reflection of thy smile those million suns in the firmament of my dawn. 9. 
after a bengali song in the forest of my being the voice of your lute in the depth of my heart the pearl of your tear in the temple of my soul chimes the bell of your love the fire of dawn shadow of eve life's sorrow and death's mute enchanting peace steal away silently fearfully at thy flute's music o frail faint call which i seek to echo o breath of love laden with the aroma of my soul why seek i ever without o guest at my door ten moonrise a soft light mantle of rose where the brown hills as they look down on the valley where the rills spin their long silver embroideries for the fringe of spring's greened draperies the cloud banks recede with the fading breeze the warblers fall into silence in the trees to listen to many coloured dream melodies that the mute stars make on sleep's endless seas the last light flickers out of the sky shadows with golden feet over the green valley high the silver rills trill like warblers from earth's deeps as the moon the sun of another dawn heavenward leaps eleven at ventura california the moon rises and washes the brine with silver the dunes like white elephants restfully asleep after the chase and the fog comes to bring the moon its veil of shades the waves stretch their phosphorescent arms to embrace the night the wind like a wounded gull beats its wings over the land over the sea into the fog vested intangibility like a thousand trumpets the breakers proclaim the empire of night the rocky caverns send back echoes like homage from vassals near and far a faint cry seemeth to flash like lightning through the clouds of the roar of waves it is not from the rocks nor from the sea ah it is the prayer of a mightier ocean humanity Twelve. the same air that you breathe is the air that caresses my sky the sunlight that lingers on your hair and lips sets fire to the pathway of my life and the call of nature's numberless birds but reflects in world's mirror the music of our hearts singing melody made of sweet agonies exquisite joys poured from pictures of pain as this summer's heat from the ever-burning heart of heaven not heaven alone the earth the air flowers and leaves filled with passion that knows no slaking yet tranquil like sleep's dream below sea more than dream below sea this love that i bring its boisterous waves seek the firmament of your yielding while your heart beats arrows seek to slay my heart a beating as i inhale the fragrance of your breath and hair and pour the perfume of my soul on your sun-bathed feet thirteen why this return why this sunlight when all seemed without sun whence this call i cannot tell yet its mighty thralls hold me haunt me hour after hour with its name of thee all seems ended the last light lost in the house of the dead yet with time's tide rises thy face my heart my soul my bride though poureth the rain and sorrow clouds my sky yet not mine the pain what i hear i cannot tell and what i fear will not endure but thou returnest o serene o silent o pure 
fourteen by the verge of the woodland where purling brooks loosen their brown tresses where the music of the breeze is played on viols of the vines and trees thy soft words i hear like songs from enchantment's strings ah vanishing moments of ecstasy far fleeing only to be nearer to my soul rest rest awhile on the hillside of my echoing pour on it the sweet rain of thy words melody till they mingle and drown my tears into thy kisses passion swept sea fifteen the dream of his soul the dream of his soul in flesh and blood not to possess but only to see was given him for an hour ah fool he lingered longer the dream died like the shadow of a star end of section two poems sixteen to twenty two sixteen the eurasian in dignity your part today suffering the guerdon of the gods no country to claim your own nowhere to lay your head the ocean of ignorance separates us the snowstorm of commerce blinds the eye yet you must stand true bridge of blood and flesh between the west and east in ages to come when man will love his brother irrespective of birth and breed in the pantheon of the future yours the immortal seat son of man you are brother bearer of the cross of god your destiny the lodestar of our epoch your life our rude littered road of the lord arise awake halt not till the goal is reached raise high the host of freedom blare the trumpet of light suffer you for the world to rejoice die so they can live live that you may bring the light to the meeting place of the west and east seventeen in the perfumed shrine of love where burns memory's exhaustless incense from the iridescent thurible of hope on the altar and couch of my heart rest thy limbs o god of my soul drink of the unquenchable draught of caresses tear the flowers of my dreams and fancies scatter the sacred petals of my passion to the four winds of thy rejoicing thy rejoicing that one festival of the high gods where no offering that i bring ever be too dear where no soul burnt in the fire of senses can perish where no suffering fails to be mother and daughter of joy take all great god among these gods the pearl of my woman's soul buried in deeps of passion the coral wreath from the ocean of my bleeding heart and ravish with exquisite merciless touch the one star in my heaven that has led thee hither my life's eternity in this worship of an hour eighteen the infirm beggar sings broken and bruised by the hand of fate dark night my staff leaning on its shadowy strength i walk toward thee my god thy crescent my ever-present friend thy wind thy voice calls me to go on without end to thy star that my soul had seen the hour is black my road unbuilt my beggar's song i cannot sing yet thou knowest for thy love i long i come o lord broken and battered to thy world where sorrow is not nineteen kiss my love kiss my burning breaking being 
so when cold death will put out the light in some wilderness of far forsaken life might each kiss blossom into a lotus and a shefali and in the desolate hours of loneliness of travelling in the dusk of despair one petal of these will cheer the vagrant souls that tread the pathway of love's forsaking or when death will sow the soul of mine on the lake shore of sorrow like a weeping willow i will spring and with my green tresses and bending body shall shelter secrecy seeking lovers that love for an hour as art in hearts today kiss then with kisses of flame touch me with rosy caresses bury this my hope my dream and thy all-conquering love me so the kiss flowers may each be a dream may my willow be the vision of eternal spring twenty color harmonies violet hills rosy mist limpid pool golden notes from sunset's lute for shadows draped in green with purple feet to dance and swim through iridescent undulatings dusk descends mauve cloudlets dying butterflies flit and fly and die in the opalescent ocean of mist that grows dark and still kisses away the last gold from the brow of the hills till the coral crescent with its wand of breeze makes silver ripple music on the pool's shadow-laden deeps twenty one sanatan the absolute footnote the word absolute is the synonym for the sanskrit word sanatan meaning eternal and immutable truth end of footnote our hopes that fail are but truths that set to illumine other spirits on their pathway as our joys that come true are their far-off dreams that through the cadence of our life ring out their pent-up tunes whatever dies needs must live whatever breathes doth die too but above death and life shines that high light where all find rest yet endlessly move twenty two coming off the fog killing the light blurring the stars marring the breeze nature's many-stringed harp it comes silently sinisterly over the land over the sea spreading its beggar raiment of brown without stop without sound over the valley like a great serpent of silence coiling around the heart of sound a damp insidiousness creeps into the night a drab numbness sets in dripping in lugubrious drops from the haggard fingers of the autumn trees it strangles the last sound it devours the last light trembles in fear to see its own visage it moves on on and around ceaselessly untiringly till the black night is drowned in an abyss of brown end of section three twenty three in love's afterglow full of stars those lilies of the river of night sing no song dear speak no word the white noontide is ebbed into gold shores breaking seas cease to roar lo the moonrise of our soul hardly a kiss or the shadow of a caress no decking the hour with the jasmines of touch but a rose petal shivering in exquisite agony our love the weary sunset is grown wearier a vague lassitude encircles us twain 
as separation builds its pathway of tears. See sweeping, yet the saffron light lingers, the stars throb in nebulous luster as our hearts to the music of desire. What matters if winter be nigh? We sang summer to sleep and autumn on its bed of leaves. Now comes the hour of parting for us as the last light flickers and fades, even love's afterglow dying and is dead. Alas, thou art gone as are the hours of day. The hard, gem-burning stars do not set. Oh, in what dark and what forest roamest thou? 24. The End Art thou about me amid falling leaves and autumn's circling winds, when the golden shadows grow russet and rosy, and the purple sunset sets fire to the sky? Art thou the breath that burns my being when cold feel my limbs in terror and awe? Who art thou, my love? Stranger in a strange garb, far and farther to be nearer to my heart. Why make spring flames leap from passion's autumn leaves? Why this urge through fatigue when time falls fast asleep under the shadow of its grave? The winter ice? Yet, and yet the circling winds repeat passionate speech. The sunset burns as my soul and desire's golden heat. The night be not far, shadows creep near, with chilling breath and clutching hands, to pluck, to destroy, the flowers of yielding from your heart, powerless, fear-stricken. I tremble, I stagger, I fall into oblivion's pit, as time creeps into winter's grave, silent, empty, white. 25. The Confluence Tears of ages come in a stream, Sighs flow in from life's hoary height, Souls of sorrow bring their gleam Of a light that is but a moan, not a sight. The gray waves of the sea of death Congeal under the cold sun of suffering, While time, playing the flute of fate, Charms them snake-like and doth bring. Out of a cave, beyond lights and shades, Presence storm, made stormier by future's promises, To mingle in the ocean of death like sleep yielding to dreams' caresses. 26. In the deeps of dream or the pools of sleep, a lone star her face seeking with song-kindled eyes her isle of rest. Across the dusky hills the first flush of waking unfurls its silver banner to signal the isle for her. She vanishes as before into the fading night. Thus the eye of life searches for the home of peace, night after night. And when the sun of death rises, it flees. It loves its own night. 27. To Leo B. Mihan Few notes out of the coffer of sound, an image from the gallery of nature, an hour from the infinity of time. Out of these, blessed creature, Createst thou the world of endless rhyme. 28. Chopin's Funeral March The keyboard black and white, Shadow light the evening scale, Half silent the voice of thy singing. Quiver the notes in pain, Exquisite, sad the melody at thy touch, Like the silver arrow of desire Piercing the soul's golden heart. The room is lost in dark, the ivory keys, white fringe of a music long since mute, yet in the black night tremble and toss notes unheard, undreamt, like sleep sleepless and waking full of smart. 29. In the golden afterglow you lay, when the emerald moon made thin silver fog veils for the bride of night, whose saffron-sandaled feet walked the foam-strewn floor of the sea. In my arms you listen to words of love, poured by the infinite heaven of my heart, echoed by the endless symphony of the sky. Your silent gaze, deeper than the song of the sea, farther than the moon, nearer than your own heartbeat, asked mine for speech. What can my love say at this sad sacred hour? Hour of parting this. Love's ever-feared moment, longing's much-dreaded end, 
Yet no voice sorrows in our being, no woe dims the moon face tonight. Between the sheltering dunes and fading light on an aerial couch line, adorned in kiss woven garments of nudity, our spirits garlanded with myriad embraces, borne on passion's flaming wings, cross this ocean of parting, unto that far island of Scythera, where only love reigns in eternal majesty. End of section four. Thirty. Henrik Ibsen Lone as the lone north star, Stern as the rocks that guard the sanctity of his home, Pure as the white snow of his land, And beauteous his visions, like the fjords at each turn of the mariner's helm. The lofty glaciers engage his eyes, As life's height the sight of his mind and his imagination, expansive as the sea, tries to push the boundary line of the sky, his soul further and further, where a new north star awaits his exploring eye. 31. After hearing my old Kentucky home. I know not who's the words, nor the maker of their music. In my sorrow-laden heart, the aroma of its pathetic art, like the soothing breath of dream. Joy borrows its charm from sorrow, sorrow feverish with the color of joy. An opaque crystal, a stone on life's string, made of music that doth ring as the stars on the lyre of night. A pain it is made perfect a call made clear by the voice of peace a silver stream of song darkened yet floweth on and on between black banks of memory into the soul's white home thirty two the coming of the tide of night pale this twilight face shade ridden the horizon light the forest a green gold vision of grace in its frame of lavender mist no rose leaf washed in moonlight no vine on vermilion walls pale sunlight fading into night dark tunes the music of the hour no death nor life is ours here but the vast vague sea of black sounded by star mariners seeking the infinite's track thirty three dead love pour no blood on ashes brother that is not the way better say nothing blood is no life-giver it makes death look so gay dead life or dead love need no blood at all no trumpet's call can bring back what you lived and strove the ashes know no thrall why cry for a colored glass that for jewel you took the magic the dream all returning to dust and grass not a day love your soul forsook at last you have known it that is more than they do be not afraid o oh friend alone alas alone you have loved and lived it pour no blood on the ashes for blood cannot turn into dew thirty four it is the same twilight dear the hour of love and tear when in raiments of shadows fancies fears hopes and sorrows tread the path of sunset while like barks of jet float the clouds from east to west. 
I think of thee, my darling, as in my heart strange chords ring out melodies of many memories, and half forgotten reveries telling of this or that scene that is and has been trod by thee, Queen of Queens. My dreams of thee are ceaseless, as my love of thee is endless whether it be sunset or sunrise hour of star song or bird cries it is of thee that i dream in the heart of my soul's stream that flows to thy feet my darling dark grows both east and west flower heads droop into rest as i seek to lay my heart and loving on thy star-white breast my darling and sink into that pool of sleep that rises from thy singings deep while all are silent as my desires near thee my queen what peace thy presence breathes what serenity weaves its wreaths what myriad wonders touch hands across many seas from many lands when a thought of thee heralds thy coming to me between palpitating desires and fragrant dreams thirty five weariness weariness the tune of this evening melody pain the lute to which i sing ah goddess why this gray measure in thy starry harmony the white conch of the half moon silent as though all worships ceased no incense perfume from the forest censer the breeze brings all still like torrid noon i row in a black bark on a copper-colored sea the sun fades like a golden bubble in its deep weariness the chart that i hold in my hand weariness the tune of this evening melody thirty six a call not a song a command not a prayer no mellowing moonlight but dawn frail fanciful and fair in the east of my dream and desire at the portal of unending desire draped in diaphanous dreams with a whispered word of fire that quivers and gleams through the clouds of my longing longings poignant with pains and tears enfold and fill my soul that aches with hopes and fears as thy chariot wheels roll sets fire with torches of gold to my words my silences my singing and to this black pyre of my life to take my being on the wings of thy embracing to sail away far away from man's hate and strife where only love reigns on its throne of unending light end of section five thirty seven remorse gently descending dark curtain of silence from heaven to earth the drama of day over empty the seats of life dead the twilight fire curtains of black woven from threads of purple by the hands of a star that lone soul weeping over the dead hours laid by mute time in the eternal's grave in the night of my soul not even a ray nor a mourner present 
but a deep dark hollow where no fate weeps even fear is afraid to tread fear forsaken hollow within hollow even silence flees from me oh the pity of it 38 poet to distill a few golden drops of song through the gloom of this hour to filter true emotions through passion's burning fire when the sun bubble-like fades in the west as our being craves for night's rest that pool of silver in life's forest of distress to light some pale candles in the cavern of a lonely isle and draw the wine of day from the must of midnight or plant a star seed in the gray ploughed eve so out of the abyss of the blackness of night dawn's million-colored fountain might spring thirty nine wanderer the silvery beach a ribboned around the flowing hair of the sea where gleam the foam flowers garlanded in multitudinous nebulous rings here on the frontier of many worlds and the billow rocked cradle of eternal sleep no sound no music no silence that a wounded soul can heal a longing more tempestuous than the craven breeze possessed deep and tears that outweigh the salt of the woeful brine yet no sleep dream robbed or dream laden nor even death's pallid peace but a ceaseless crying over my heart's forsaken valleys where love like a wraith haunts the empty tombs of memory forty at dawn with the breath of dawn cooling thy feverish brow and the fading of the last footfall of the stars no kiss can i bring to thy bedside nor caresses of cooling fire my sweet yet through this dreamful silence that writes on the rim of the golden light the story of our love with most eloquent poignancy more love we pour into each other than the trist of an eternal night forty one from her many-colored bow nature has hurled her silver arrows of rain and slain the hosts of dark jeweled with a single star the moon walks the garden of night higher and higher through the star in flowered pathways of sapphire she draws her train of silver forty two if words fail song will come if thought fades souls will not be dumb if sound ceases silence our song if life fails death join our hands forty three rainy night like tears shed over a dream like sighs that stream in an unseen nameless way into the heart of our lay it seemed hour on hours 
years like fading flowers, scattered their petals and bloom in a half-lit forest of gloom. The softness of its sounds, like the coursing of a million hounds, of dream over the glade of sleep, where tortured silences creep. Exquisite, pain-laden, peaceful, this night most beautiful. What love forsaken by loving, sets his heart a-singing. No torment in it, but tenderness, a liquid star music of sadness, pours into my soul half asleep, while the willows at my window weep. End of section 6 44. Ghosts Flames flickered in the fireplace as memories on the hearth of life. Two shadows we, watching, brooding, to catch our reflection in a non-existent stream. The ghost witness of it all, the clock brings its proofs. Moments melt into moments like notes of sad music, like a white cerement. Cold memories shroud our life. Speech flees before this. Faces turn away from each other. The fire throws light on them. There, too, flames burn and flicker. 45. Rain. What world agony distills its poignancy this day? What pain-laden heart pours out its exhaustless lay of tormenting woe and tortured silences? From the far reaches of the marshland, along and beyond the crescent bed of the sea sand, what tempest on the wave strings makes its cadences? The distant hills, dimmed like dull and forgotten dreams, raise their shadowy heads, where pour in streams the tears of the heart-hollowed mourners of the skies, while into the turgid heart of the fens at their feet turbidly fall and dance, sheet upon sheet, to the measureless measure of the wind's empty sighs. No light but a dismal gray that neither throbs nor quivers on the torn banks of the heaven's cloud rivers, but stonily stands still like death that dies never. Not dead, but a weeping world bathing its corpses, its memories, its lost hopes, in regret's hearses, to be buried in flowerless graves without incense or prayer. It writhes in agony, rolls out in undulating rills, this rain melody from the sea waves to the farthest hills, thence to the dreary distance, lost to hearing or sight. It is all dark and dank, a morning of earth and heaven, sorrow-laden, life-weary, long-lost, death-craven, a day lost to time, a light more baleful than night. No dead these, but a living death seeking peace from the furies, their own thoughts, sorrow, surcease, kissing the lashing wind thinking it to be the breeze. Pour, 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 O relentless, exhaustless pain, to the measure of thine own agony, thy woes refrain, these desolate streams of thy music, thy pangs of a million seas. 46. Evening Worship the amber west melts into saffron, the east a misty vision of rose, 
like the sun our souls seek repose the mountains empurpled priests the river the chant from their lips sunlit the pine candles crimson tips at this hour of worship shadows spread their wings silently the breeze bell rings the stars put a silver ribbon round night's tresses the light fades like a receding song as fall soundless sounds from nature's moon gong forty seven the rosy mist stilly polishes the round mirror the moon golden her face reflecting the cool sweet glory of a baby sun when dangling his short golden arms in the cradle of the sky after night gave him birth and herself died as day dies to see the moon this golden rose-washed stone that the unseen hand puts on the crown of night beside it puts bits of white the star jewels like million fancies worshipping the goddess of dream forty eight the sun's golden spear the violet cloud writhing in pain golden the tint of the sky the tall trees wave their green gold hair music of this hour the zephyr's perfume laden argosy drifts with the song of lutes down the sunset stream that falls from heaven's bower another flow of light tinkling like the intangible bells of paradise flows out of my heart into the mysterious love perfumed ocean of night forty nine truce a field of battle the sky the sun the hero bleeding to death the shadows and lights hurl their hosts of clouds ceaselessly no peace warfare all nay lo she cometh the spirit of truth the evening star fifty a parallel time has passed since shadows trembled to watch twilight sweep the earth for the phantoms to trip and mince a dark breeze the forest heart stirs yet merry the face of the sky twinkling in joy its innumerable eyes the stars hushed the music within pleasure's silver laugh dead thought lost in reverie reverie receding into nothing the taper of dreams flickers out leaving the soul in dusk by the altar of love flower laden as the night with stars end of section seven fifty one nothing endures you said none can die quoth love in the firmament of loving no stars set no meteors fall yet nothing endures nothing naught but dust naught but regret and vain desire the twin monuments of life reared by time by wrecking all that we seek and find its relentless waves of years break even the impregnable wall of memory that thought builds on the embankment of hope pass all away even we who loved dreamt as none dreamt before born by the tide of life but lo from our defeated destiny rise our seeds reared by time consecrated to love and living fifty two disappointment 
they think thee bitter thou art not made a laughter nor love's smile can thy vision beguile like a black fiery comet suddenly sinisterly thou comest making thy fateful journey littering the floor of destiny with wreckages of life of love of heart of all visitors thou art the surest halting nowhere long endlessly passest dragging behind thee thy train of fire that burneth all heedless of curse or prayer fifty three buddha on thy lotus seat of night meditation closing thy eyes the star hosts thy awestruck devotees the moon thy halo unchanging white-robed time telling his beads of eons on the thread of eternity by the ocean of space slumbering in peace at thy feet while destiny stringing the lyre of death sings nirvana's hymn fifty four ask me not to stand at thy friendship's gate i who loved thee now must like a cold spectre from a far forgotten land of snow watch thee fall asleep on the couch of freezing friendship in these arms thou sought and joyed on many delights excavated the ruins of passion to build them anew or sailed on thy wings these arms over love's enchanted sea friendship barrier not this but a coward's refuge a shadow not the rainbow light of loving and life o oh, come my pilot conduct the bark of our twin souls from cold friendship's haven over love's boisterous desire foam fringed ocean till in the sheer joy and fatigue of flying we fail fall and fade into the heart of passions another fire-born day fifty five golden vines they these thin lines of light climbing the sky wall after the sun sank into sleep like rills thread-like seen from a jutting rock where air is dizzy and fancy infinite free what fiery wine tingles in these vines weaving golden arabesques on the pale evening sky ah the heavens this hour have drunk of sunset's ruby wine for those golden cobwebs to weave their magic of twilight dreams fifty six at sundown two shadows fell tremulous and frail from the upland over the lake surface pale while the shivering reeds shook at sunset as the swans sailed into a sea of jet the rippling waters and the breeze and the shadows that fall from the trees mingled and melted with the twain a song of white washed away by its black refrain only words remained palpitating and few falling through the gloom and night's dew like jewelled fancies rising out of a dream that live for a moment and die ere they gleam fifty seven tears well out from my heart as clouds overcast my soul and blur my vision of thee melancholy this dawn when thy smile and words and thy sky shaming eyes are not beside me to rouse me from sleep though cry i without end yet a thought of thee heals many wounds why thou ask me 
how can I tell? All thou wish to take is thine, not even the dust of thy feet I seek, only leave me the star of thy memory to bathe in the rain of my weeping. End of section 8 58. At last thou comest, thy footsteps I hear across the ages, over wandering fancies, through shadows of dreams is thy coming, Queen of Queens. This shimmering summer of life that thou bringest with thee as a gift to my silent waiting is but what I prayed to bring to the altar of thy coming. I spread the seat of my soul for thee to rest thy tired limbs, and wave the fan of my heart to cool thy lotus-shaming face, Lady of Light, Queen of Grace. Come to my bower of worship, where burns the incense of devotion. Lay thy rose-robed body in the shrine of my longing, where love's rainbow songs are ringing. 59. The lingering light of the sun takes from the chalice of the valley its mist perfume to wash the moon face with rose. In the pool at my feet the goldfishes drag their trains of brown, which cleave it into part that ceaselessly mingle anew. The moon, silver bright, through thousand streams sends her light into the valley a swoon, listening to the harmony of night. 60. I have drunk your tears with insatiate lips. I have broken like a toy the heart of your life. What have I given, your last query? The cup of my heart filled I with love, the chalice of soul, with the substance of my God, for thee to drink my life's first love. Thou drankest as one that comes from a desert. Thou spiltest the nectar heedless, like mad. Yet I cursed not, nor shed tears, but loved thee, longed to live for thy love. Alas, thy tears grew salt, thy love thy self's greedy grasp. Oh, it is the end, let us part. The morning of indifference wings the grey sky. The bird song of the other dawns, the raven's shriek now. Shed no more tears, I tire of my drink. Break not thy heart, thy soul, let it be still. Beyond the grey cloud is the land of sunrise. Let us part, dear, let us be wise. 61. Sound Butterflies in a Fountain Like interpenetrating bells of silver, the water drops ring and melt into new drops like new notes from an untiring lyre that in coloured succession paint our heartbeats from the gold of sunrise into sunset fire yet not like that this brush of water drops limbs on the silver rim of joy the dark butterflies of desire sixty two even in sadness thou art beside me, in gladness none so happy as thee. I love thee. May my love kiss the feet of thy love of me. My dreams are thine, day or night. My sleep sings in silence to the night of thy delight. May thy heart's gifts, like stars, my heart's heaven bedight. Though a sigh rises in my soul this hour, closes its petals in the west, the golden day flower, in my bower let thy love pour its rainbow shower. 63. By the sea of sleep walks white-robed night, the breeze but the faint rustle of her drapery that calls the mist-made bark of dream from the cavern of the unknown to sail to us, laden with endless star-like fancies, and she, the magician, walks on and on over the sapphire embankment of the sky, like a moving magnet drawing behind her a million dream argosies. 64. Farewell, 
after a hindustani song farewell fairest of loves life's most fanciful of gifts joy and treasure love and wonder waking's elusive reality dreams ever yielding divinity even thou must pass beyond time's starless bar thy eyes their lambent flames shall no more illumine my night nor thy brow home of many moods tranquil yet tormented as a sea shall ever wear the coronal of my kiss ah kisses blisses of fire passion's long lingering melody played by thy lips on mine even they must die intangible realities of rapture ever-present wonders of desire now like autumn leaves fly with the west wind of fear no not fear that takes thee from me nor love's slayer satiety yet art gone thou art going oh not to crush thy heart on mine thy breasts made but for my hands no more to quiver in rapture therein who wills this cruel decree the warmth of thy body the staggering storm of thy yielding the intoxicating perfume of thy mouth these and many other endless vials and lutes of passion love life delights of a thousand heavens who robs them of me fate that fool in the court of love who hath no wit for laughter steals it all from me in the mid-hour of life and as it befits his mind scatters it all over the turbid stream of fear and lies end of section nine sixty five satiety all thy gifts must die all thy thoughts must fail such were the decree writ by time with shadows on the scroll of fate even thy memory recedes into forgetting thy lustrous words star-like set ah sweet autumn's breath withers all even the west wind fears to tread all yield to the power of relentless time that no love nor passion can stay blown like dried leaves we now on the granite pavement of fate no more thy lip touch on my brow nor thy hands pleading caresses thy gifts fall and fade into nothing thy vision grows dim in life's sunset west sixty six drowsy the noonday air under the trees the still shadow like a fugitive fragment of night seeks shelter from the sun the bird has ceased singing the beggar unable to bear the wealth of the sun spreads his torn garment to find peace in the benign shadow of sleep ah lone soul like him i spread this rag of my song under the tree of life over which blazes the sun of fate the calm of its shadow protects me but where my peace sixty seven chatterton for summers seventeen this flower of spring scattered fragrance that dwelt in its petals seventeen seventeen song hours a heart never weary a soul with honey of all flowers a song as enchanting as stars a boy never grown old a lute never tiring to sing a mind ne'er chilled though hunger's hand lay cold steely cold on his breast yet the boy sang loved as alone a poet can endlessly without rest just seventeen ne'er old though time passes a golden lyre-string has not yet ceased ringing 
rings through the heart of time o'er the summit of death to the music of the nine into the heart of eternal rhyme sixty eight a summer song it was counting of many unseen stars in an intangible sky making new milky ways silver shadow paths that lead from sapphire abysses into deeper abysses still the deeps of our souls lit by passion's burning flowers tremulous timorous flames of silver that with thousand hands our hearts sought to pluck and scatter or make barbet garlands for love's nuptial hour nuptial hour briefer than a moment longer than heaven's eternal summer when each flower burns to soothe and each soothing petal burns anew till myriad streams of fire strewn with countless flaming stars bear us to the far sea of time where no summer dies nor endure the stinging moments of love's winter sixty nine who knows time's torment life's woes and sorrow's wan gaze are but shades in a picture of light where nothing abides all things fade in fading there is beauty by shedding tears we bathe our hearts those crushed flowers full of smart for a deity not far from our souls yet no solace in prayer pain has no largesse dark has stars but no barren earth its flowers all are dismal and fallow yet from the mountain's stony heart spring multitudinous rivers sparkling at dawn and deepening night's gloom with mysterious murmurs and who knows these streams that pass by the balcony of our past through presence wilderness into desolate future may reach the land of the farthest star who knows ah who knows may these song rills from my heart's little hill empty their singing waters into a sea of song-making where nothing endures but the sound and echo of singing where sound and echo are one a moonset veil of sunset land where light is wedded to shade without death full of dying yet not dead seventy the first vision the impenetrable dark darkness of cloud and night coming on black silent wings surround me in their folds as it sits by my side on the shore of time no fear no sorrow no hope not even the footfall of a star dim deep sable tones rise from the organ of nothing with its flats and sharps of clouds and night ripples of moments waves of hours and years break on the shore of space to speak vague soundless words to my soul alone shade among shades not even the unheard whisper of the shadow of a breeze but silence ponderous peaceful afraid of its own self a mute hound at my feet who art thou whom do i know in this emptiness who has lived with me and called me from the deeps of time recedes the bank of space fades away even the unfilled time no light no sound 
not even a dream yet who speaks through silence who plays this music of night like an intangible river it flows with waves of shadow sound between banks of mountainous silence oh who who are you light in a world of shadows rainbow among sunless clouds bark of song on this sea of silence o ferryman of the soul o word on infinite's scroll seventy one shanty sleep shadows sleep light sleep tune sleep speech sleep night sleep day sleep children in the cradle of rest dream stars dream moon dream sea dream o sun dream rainbow dream storm dream rain o milk from heaven's breast rest ye feet rest ye hands rest bleeding hours of even rest o heart torn and burnt rest my fancies day is done sleep night sleep with star eyes closed sleep sorrow in death's silent repose sleep o soul be it twilight or morn sleep thou too o sleep heedless of moon and sun End of section 10. End of Sanja. Songs of Twilight by Don Gopal Mukherjee.